Good morning. Oh, I have the best way to wake up because my husband always waits for me to wake up. He wakes me up with a smile and a kiss. And I think that he mainly does it so he can um, kick me out of bed so he can make the bed. A little bit of a late sleeper. I don't know what day of the week it is, how many days we've been in here, or weeks for that matter. I'm gonna just get my day started. Okay, good morning. My team and I have started a classy run club in case anyone wants to join. And we've committed to running or walking 100 miles between May 11th and June 11th. So it's keeping me uh, honest and keeping me committed to uh, getting those miles in. Okay, I just finished an awesome run, broke a sweat, I'm feeling better. And can I tell you what's really making my day is watching Ashley's YouTube video about her day in quarantine. So if you need something to feel a little less alone, feel connected, feel inspired, watch Ashley's video. It's just put the biggest smile on my face and Ashley, I miss you. And I love how you're spending your day in quarantine and you're inspiring me to want to learn to paint. Since I'm a one woman production company these days, doing my lighting, my filming, everything, <laughs> including carrying all my shit at the same time. All right, pause. I cannot and will not start this video without first recognizing those who cannot work from home to those who have recently lost jobs or worst of all, lost loved ones. My heart aches for you, and I am so deeply grateful to all of our heroes on the front line who are risking their lives day in and day out to protect us and care for us. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And you know, for me, one thing I'm finding that is helping me uh, is keeping a routine, and that is why I wanna share my daily routine with you guys, because um, maybe it'll help keep you motivated to do the same. Um, and I'm sharing some amazing organizations and stories below that are uplifting and inspiring. Okay, so my day can't actually start without um, coffee. No matter what temperature or time of year it is, it's always iced coffee with a nice almond milk creamer. One, two, three, four. How many kinds of almond milk or non-dairy milk do I have? And a yummy cold brew. All right, now my day can begin. Okay, now I do actually have to start my day. I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick and show you my skincare routine and um, put a little makeup on. I've got a day full of Zoom calls and interviews later. So this is um, my morning routine. Okay, fresh as a daisy. Let's um, get the day started. Um, I'm gonna use my favorite to start, Advanced Night Micro Cleansing Balm. It really removes all those impurities. Ooh, okay, it feels kind of clean and conditioned and has a nice healthy glow. Okay, this serum is number one for a reason. It is so good. So I'm gonna slather my skin in this and I'm gonna multitask and do the concentrated recovery eye mask at the same time. Slather it on. There's no wrong way to do this. Um, but I love learning different techniques. These are also two other really great tools to kind of pamper your skin. You wanna use light pressure and follow your lymph nodes across your chest. Okay, while my eye mask is still cooking, I'm gonna use my favorite lip oil. Yes, you heard me right. It's not a lip balm, it's an oil. It's really hydrating for the skin. You can kind of use a generous amount here and just Drench those lips. These puppies have cooked enough and um, just to really hydrate that under eye skin area, I'm gonna layer on my other Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex, 
which is a really hydrating serum that I love to put both at night and in the morning. This puppy, the Revitalizing Supreme Plus, is so good. Supreme Plus has hyaluronic acid. It's oil-free, but it's really hydrating and it just helps kind of lock in that moisture. In the time I've been talking here, my lips soaked up all that oil. So now I'm gonna seal it all in with the Hydrating Lip Balm, uh, which is a color replenish, which responds to your unique lip chemistry and reveals a shade that perfectly suits you. Fresh and clean. <sighs> now that I'm hydrated and my skin is hydrated and dewy fresh, my hair is pulled back and I am going to jump into my makeup look for today. And I was thinking to recreate a makeup look that we did for Paris Fashion Week. Um, I'm gonna give it my best shot. I'm gonna use my Double Wear Stay In Place foundation. This I like to use in the sand shade, and it's a matte foundation, uh, which is really good for kind of not getting too shiny or oily during the day. And I love that this liquid foundation creates a really long lasting clean look. I mean, I'm sure there are real techniques to <laughs> actually apply foundation the right way, but I, don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna kind of rub it into the areas where I need a little coverage. And just kind of tap, 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 tap. It, you better be using clean hands. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm gonna use my Double Wear Radiant Concealer. It's really good for kind of brightening that under eye area, hiding dark spots, and it has medium to full coverage. Lifts, lightens, brightens, which we all love. So next up, Sumptuous Rebel Mascara. It's 24 hour wear, which we love, and it doesn't smudge or flake, thank goodness, and it creates thicker, more lifted, defined lashes. And if you use a little bit too much like I did, you can kind of just clean it up. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly just use the Brow Multitasker in Blonde. It has two really great little tools here. Ooh, there's three. Oh, wait. It's a three-in-one brow multitasker. I always thought there were just two sides to this. Okay, so I'm gonna use this side, the pencil, to fill in any little holes in the brow, give it a shape side to this little guy. I think it's called a spoolie, spoolie. And if you wanna go for it, which I just discovered, the powder, how about that? Love it. Okay, this I'm very excited about because I've never used them before, but I'm very excited to play the Pure Color Love Cooling Highlighter. It comes in four shades and they're really buildable and they have this balm-like texture so you can kind of just directly apply it to the skin. This is Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush in Sensuous Rose. The apples of the cheeks. I'm feeling a little pale these days. I haven't seen a ton of sunlight, uh, which I need desperately, but this is the bronze goddess. Last but not least, I've got nowhere to go except for my team calls and an interview later today. So what the hell, what have I got to lose? Let's do a little pop color. Okay, and fill it in. Et voila! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a peek into my morning routine and I hope wherever you are, you're staying safe and healthy and I am sending you so much love. Oh, and if you have any more ideas of videos I should do, comment in the section below. Um, would love to get creative in quarantine YouTube. And um, if you guys aren't already subscribing, you know what I'm about to say. Subscribe.